Welcome to The Creative Influencer, where we discuss all things creative with an emphasis on influencers. The Creative Influencer is hosted by John Pfeiffer. John is an entertainment attorney in Santa Monica, California, who represents influencers and other creatives. Today's mini-sode is an update to our December 18, 2019 mini-sode about whether college football players will be able to make money on YouTube and Instagram. So just to set the scene, on September 30th, 2019, California Governor Gavin Newsom signed into law a bill called the Fair Pay to Play Act. The bill will make it easier for college athletes to make money from their name, image, and likeness. They can hire agents, and they can sign endorsement deals. But, and this is a big but, the new law doesn't go into effect until January 1, 2023. Before the bill was signed into law, the NCAA Board of Governors sent a letter to Gavin Newsom claiming that the law was unconstitutional. But, and this is the second big but, the NCAA did an about-face and announced that they had voted to permit college athletes, this is a quote, the opportunity to benefit from the use of their name, image, and likeness. In April 2020, a working group of the NCAA Board of Governors issued a 31-page final report and recommendations. A vote on whether to accept the working group's recommendations is scheduled for January 2021. It will likely pass. Schools have taken note of this, and the Los Angeles Times recently ran an article titled Red and Good Carpet Lunch. The subtitle was, With Athletes Soon Able to Cash In on Their Name, USC is Tapping Into Hollywood Allure. Clay Hilton, USC's head football coach, reportedly talks to recruits about their personal brand. He's quoted as saying, quote, I truly believe student-athletes are going to be looking at their development as a marketable commodity, and that, quote, schools can either be proactive or reactive, and we wanted to be proactive. That got me wondering, what other colleges are doing this? The results may surprise you. The University of Nebraska, not generally associated with Hollywood allure, uh, however, is on the cutting edge of working with all of their student-athletes. An entire marketing team helps every athlete, not just the football players, but every athlete, work on personal branding and marketing themselves as social media influencers. Garrett Classy is the Senior Deputy Athletic Director for the University of Nebraska. We reached out to Garrett, and he's agreed to be a guest on the podcast. We'll ask exactly what Nebraska does for its athletes, and for predictions on the future of student-athlete influencers. It's going to be a brave new world for student-athlete influencers. Stay tuned. That's it for this time. If you enjoyed our podcast, please write a review on iTunes and tell your friends to subscribe. If you have any questions about influencers or suggestions for future episodes, email them to john at pfeifferpfeifferlaw.com. Thank you for listening.